Let's look at how to load a CSV file into BigQuery. You have the following options for sources. You can upload a local file, you can upload from Google Drive, or you can upload from Google Cloud Storage. In this example, we are going to create a data set. We are going to load a CSV file from your local system. And then we are going to create a table using schema auto detect. So before we have a successful example, let me show you one of the limitations of loading a CSV into BigQuery. So if we go to a, an example data set here, we try and create a table. We want to upload a file. And we can't because this file is bigger than 10 megabytes. If you do have a file bigger than 10 megabytes, then um, use Google Cloud Storage as indicated here. So let's close out of this example. Let's actually create a new data set. So we'll go to our project, create a data set, and we'll just call this examples. Uh, keep the location as default. Set table expiration to never. And create your data set. Here's an example data set that we're going to load into BigQuery as a CSV. The file is called mock underscore data dot CSV. And it has the following fields, an ID field, that's an integer, a first name, a last name, an email, and an IP address, all of which are strings. As you can see, we have no tables in this uh, examples data set. So let's create a table. Now, let's select the file format as CSV and browse for a small file. So in this case, this file is uh, 56 kilobytes, so well under the 10 megabyte limit for uploading a file directly from your local machine. Now we're going to uh, select the destination as ternary content, which is a project name. Your project name will differ. We're going to use the examples data set that we just created. And we're going to give it a table name. So let's just call this mock data. You can auto detect a schema. Alternatively, you could create a schema manually, but let's just use auto detect here. And leave partitioning alone. So let's create the table. And here you go. So the schema represents the file, which I'll actually show you in a second. ID, first name, last name, email, and IP address. So 1,000 rows, and if we preview the data, here's the data.